Hi everybody, this is Mumbles, and today we're playing a game that I enjoy very much. I wrote about this on my Patreon newsletter, which you can get for two bucks a month um, if you're interested. And I played this for like a full day, one week. Like I just could not stop playing it. So I thought that it would be very cool to show on 10 Minutes with Indies. It's called Strange Horticulture. And basically you play the daughter of a horticulturist and um, your father has passed away so you've taken over the shop and you know a little bit about plants yourself but you're pretty much starting fresh. Now a lot of uh, shop sims they really get nitty gritty with the different currencies and like bartering and stuff like that. This is more of a puzzle game, which I think is very cool. And I think that shop games as a whole could be used as a blank canvas for people. So some people can make visual novels with them. Um, and some people can make barter systems with them if they want. Others can make it into a crafting game. So it's like, there's a lot of different things you can do with this type of game. And I wanted to show you one that's more leaning toward puzzles. There is some roleplay elements too, but it's not, like I said, it's not really a visual novel. So uh, I decided to start a new game to show you kind of where it starts. Huh, that's interesting. Um, this is the cat. You can pet the cat. Oh, I'm petting the kitty. And then also, I'm going to bring up the menu to show you. For me, what I like to do is turn the music, when I'm not making a YouTube video, <laughs> I like to turn the music volume all the way down and listen to my own music or a podcast or something, just because the music's pretty boring. Here, I'll play a little bit of it for you. It's like, eh, you know, like, who cares? Uh, and then one thing I really love about this game is you can pick a simplified font. So in this game, a lot of things are handwritten notes and they're kind of small and stuff like that. So if that's really difficult for you uh, it's and it's easier just to have simplified text, you can turn that on, which I think is very cool. Another thing that I really like that, um, maybe I'll turn off for now, but I'll, cause I'll show you how to do labels, but you can do auto labels. So once you identify a plant, it'll automatically label it for you or you could do it yourself. Uh, I'm lazy, so I have it do it for me, but I have a feeling it's going to, in my other game, kind of bite me in the ass because the color coding can be pretty useful. But let's just start playing the game and I will show you how it works. Yeah. Sure. Unusual request, fair enough. Whispered voice is too faint to hear, clearly coming from the floor above me. Okay. Alright, so she wants the John Poppy. St. John's Poppy. So we open up this book, and we go, okay, St. John's Poppy. Let's learn about this guy. He's got pretty flower, he's a pretty flower. He's bright red with a yellow center. Well, that makes it easy. Let's take a look what we got. This must be it. You can also, if you're not sure, kind of take a look here. If you need to. And then you just push this plant. And then you identify it. And if you'd like, this adds a page to your book. If you'd like, um, you can actually label these guys. So... Let's see, what does it do? It, it improves your hearing. So for me, that's like a pretty non-threatening plant. <laughs> so we're going to have it be yellow. And we're just going to call it St. John's. Puppy. And then I'm going to move this guy over here and kind of start up my collection, as it were. And kind of just start adding more as I get them. Let's keep the labels, why not? Good morning. Yes, because we are in this, the the steampunk London, where it is always raining. 
Now we can go explore. Let's read this. Oh, here's another fun thing about this game is you can zoom in. So you can read a little better, which is great for me because I'm old. Uh, so here's a place that we can go. Let's worry about this later. Let's do this one. Come to the library in Ambleside. Sure. So then this is the... This to me is the actual puzzle part of the game. Is you'll get little notes telling you where to go. She wants us to go to Ambleside, so that's where we will be. Of course, these puzzles get more interesting later on. Um, I've got a little friend, Simone. She's telling me about the stuff. We're going to collect all of these. Very exciting. And then we're going to just put it back. And then, since this is done, you can put it in the archive. Like that. Very nice. So let's keep getting people. Which is, you say? I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Okay, let's look up lemon dandy. <sighs> there we go. Curled leaves. Origin name of this plant, referring to the peeled lemon rind. Okay, so let's look for curled leaves. Oh, I remember this one not being easy. That one maybe? Oh no, this one, that looks like a curled lemon rind. Let's take a look though. Doesn't say anything about the smell, so we're just gonna have to take it for its fine. Hey! Okay. Got a new plant. And then before we forget, let's label lemon dandy. And this is pretty harmless, so it's gonna be yellow. Lemon dandy. And we'll move it over here. Boop. Okay. We can go explore. So let's go explore. Let's do this little note that we got. Oh, this is a different one. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. Let's try it. Alright. Where's Back Barrow? Sorry if me scrolling around the page is annoying. I could do that. There, that's better. Okay, so here's Back Barrow. Northeast. Let's see. Hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. So probably here. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, okay. We got it! There he is! That's exciting. My favorite thing in this little game is being able to archive things that I have completed. Because in my job, when I get to archive an email that I don't have to think about anymore, it's the best feeling. It's so good. Face Swift. Okay, dreams are gonna be more vivid. Woman facing and behind a mask. Terrifying black skeletal creature. Well, you know, all, all the good stuff. Okay. You need sleep, huh? Sure. Forest campy. Uh, 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 uh. It's a bulbous plant. That's the first hint that we get. Rounded dark blue cluster, so it's probably this one, but let's look at it. Pungent but not unpleasant. Let's just give it a shot, shall we? Did it. So if you guess wrong on the plant, You'll fill up your rising dread thingy here. I've never filled it up all the way, and I doubt you will either. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, honestly. This is not the Dark Souls of uh, plant shop simulators. Let's go back out there. All right, 
Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets, as you do. Rescued by a kind stranger, blah, 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 blah. Began my recovery. Whoa, where did that happen? Oh. Began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town. Woods to the south of Gosforth. So, here is probably where. Let's give it a shot. Nothing. Alright. Hmm. Well, that happens. Wandering blue? Sweetly. Wandering boo. Wandering boo. Excuse me. Let's see. Can move in the dark. Love fungus that can move in the dark. My favorite kind of fungus typically moves in the dark. Let's see. Let's take a look. No, it's not it. Maybe this guy, I think. I'm just saying, yeah, this guy right here. Sweet. There you go. Let's, uh... This one gets a red tag. Because it's got a bad aura to me. Wandering. Boo. Yeah, you know, in my other playthrough, I think I'm gonna... Manually do the labeling. It's just... That way you can be like, this is bad. This is okay. And then the purple's gonna be... That's magic. Okay, so if you want to travel one more time, one trick you can do is to water your plants. And then you get little compasses for it. Yeah. I was talking on Twitter how this reminds me of um, the folks who developed Sunless Sea. Uh, the Fall in London. Browser-based game. Let's try this one in here. Eh. No. Okay, that's fine. I'll worry about it tomorrow. I think that the aesthetic it's like that, but the actual gameplay is just a nice little puzzle game. Gameplay-wise, this is something that I would have wanted when I was like 10, honestly. I would have been so pumped for this. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. Well, that explains it. should probably... If you find something you're not supposed to find, that's usually when the trouble begins. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one again. I began my recovery in the woods south of the town with a group of travelers. You hate Godsforth. It's the worst. We've tried this one. Let's try this one. Er... <laughs> yeah. No. Man, it's fine. I've literally done this quest before, but I just forget it because it's been a bit. Apis Demis. Oh, this is interesting. So this guy's a jerk. Also, you can check out their bios here. So you can be like, this guy's a jerk. He's a landlord. Um, but this guy's funny because... He calls it Apis Demis, but then you're like, I've got nothing of the sort. <laughs> so you literally have to go through your thing and be like, what is, you have to find the Latin name. So I thought that was just really funny. That like, of course, this guy just makes it so much harder than it needs to be. All right, he wants Gandhi Root. All right. Rough leaves. Okay. Let's find one that looks like they have rough leaves and a flower like that. And a flower like that. That's a bachelor reference. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Here you go, bud. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna water some plants so I can try that stupid Godsford one again. <laughs> Uh, give me those compasses. Yes. Give me a compass. Okay, that's fine. Should I just 
do the dumb thing and pick. I've already picked that one, though. You know? I've already picked that one. <sighs> oh, I didn't read the whole note. And I'm sure you at home are like, Mumbles, you didn't read the whole note. And I'm sorry. Okay. On the north east corner of the wood so it would be here have you got the bright flower got it i'm sorry i didn't read the whole thing because i'm trying to be brief instead of bowing but this is what i get i get a couple failures but look it doesn't matter you can fail at this game and it's fine and then you get to put this in your little archive folder and feel all is right in the world Okay, let's ding that bell. Let's do one more day. Why not? It'll be a little bit longer than my normal vids. Thank you. It's not raining today. That's exciting for everybody in town, I'm sure. Alright, let's look this one up. There's an old slate mine at the Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them. They seem to have found an age in the dink. Okay. So. Hard knot. It's a hard knot life for us. It, here it is. Hard knot. Is there a slate mine around it? No. We're just going to click on it then. The iron gate rested. Rusted locks. Okay, so let's see if we can open it with something. Clip him. Okay, heart-shaped locks. This one looks heart-shaped to me. That looks like a heart-shaped... Right? Should we give it a chance? Oh. It doesn't say that it doesn't have flowers. Let's give it a shot. Hey! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And see, this is why I started doing auto, uh... The auto thing. Because when you get a bunch of stuff all at once, you're like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Let's give this a purple, because it's magical. And this one is... Clavillum. Good old clavium. I'll put him over here. There he goes. Yeah. Actually, I think I'll stop there. That's the game. There are more secrets to find. I purposely picked the first part of this game because I figured none of these puzzles would surprise you. In fact, you probably solved one of them before I did. Uh... Later on, some of the puzzles get a little bit more interesting, let's just say. And I think um, if you want to get this game, I want to allow you to solve the puzzles on your own. If you love puzzle games, this is totally for you. If you love the aesthetics, even better. I don't feel that this game gets too hard. There was only one puzzle that I had trouble with, but the good news is that if you search for it online there's someone who already wrote out all of the puzzles um so if you need help or a guide you can get it which is perfect <laughs> i'm a fan of that so anyway uh thank you for joining me and uh i hope that you get your own little flower shop or mushroom shop i think it i think if i had a plant shop it would have mushrooms because they look cool i just think they're neat